Welcome again. In this lecture, we will talk about the images and how they are saved and how OpenCV uh, interacts with them. So first, let's start by the most basic type of images, which are the black and white images. The images usually are presented in uh, rows and columns. So for example, in this table here, we have some cells, which are called pixels for example each cell of this table is called a pixel and has a specific value this value represents the pixel how the pixel will be shown for example if the value of the pixel is 1 it will be white if the value is 0 it will be black and so on so 1 here is white and 0 is the black and so on for all the color for all the other uh, cells or all the pixels. The number of pixels in the columns and in the rows represents the resolution of the image. So for example, in this image here, we have four pixels. In each for each column, we have uh, for each column we have five pixels, and for each row we have four pixels which means that we have 4 times 5, which represents the resolution of the image, which is 10, 20 pixels. So all these pixels are, uh, we have here 20 pixels, which is which called the size of the image. This is the most basic type of images, where we have just black and white images. Another type of images is, which is called the grayscale images, where we have the, the intensities of this uh, black and white uh, are scaled. So, for example, if we are close to one, it will be the color will be close to one. For example, here we have 0 0.9, which is represented here. We can see that it is close to one. And as we are go far from one and be closer to zero, it be more darker. So we have here, for example, 0 0.7, which is darker than 0.9 and 0.5 here which is darker than the other ones and so on for example 0.1 here which is very close to zero it is uh, very dark here co compared to other one even a human for example can't differentiate between the zero here and 0.1 although they are, there are some difference between them so this is which called the grayscale images where we have we still have like 2D images, but in uh, grayscale, uh, in the grayscale space. So, for example, here we have scales of these images. As we are close to zero, it be dark, and as we are close to one, it be more lighter. And we still have the same representation, like we have here for pixels, for example, in each. A row and five pixels in each column which means we have a resolution of four times five and we have total of 20 pixels or the size of the image is 20 pixels if we represent them as uh, arrays or numpy arrays it will be uh, each shape will be four and five like this we are for example for uh, four cells for each uh, for each row and five uh, cells for each column. Till now we haven't talked about the, the other colors like red or green or blue and so on. So this is called RGB images or RGB colors which we'll talk about later. Now we have seen the grayscale images and we will see them or we'll see more detail about them in the practice. So the images we have seen before are scaled from 0 to 1. So all values are between 0 and 1. But in OpenCV, the images should be scaled or must be scaled uh, between 0 to 255. So for example, if you have an image that is stored in this format between 0 and 1, to process it with OpenCV, we should multiply them by 255. In that case, for example, this one here will be multiplied by 255, which will be like that here, and so on for all these pixels. 
we should multiply them by this 255 to be able to represent them with OpenCV. Or, this prop or the other properties will be the same, will have the same resolution, the same number of pixels, and the same shape. But the value of these pixels will be in the scale of 0 to 255 instead of 0 and uh, 0 to 1. One of the very important color space is the RGB color space where we have three uh, colors, the red, green, and the blue. And usually we make a mix of these three colors. For example, if we, have, we, if we haven't any value of these three colors, for example, if we haven't red, we haven't green, and we haven't blue, this will represent the black colors. For example, here we have zero red, zero green, and zero blue. If we make all this, for example, 255, it will be show here, for example, the blue, as we, have, we don't have green and we don't have red. If we add these two colors here, it will be uh, white, because if we have all these colors, if we mix all these colors, it will give the white. If we have just, for example, the red, it will be red color. And if we have just the green color, it will be the green color. And if we have mix between two of them, it will give another color. For example, if we have mix between red and green, that means we will have a yellow color. And so on. If we have, for example, a mix between green and uh, or between red and blue, it will give this color here. And if we have another mix, for example, between green and blue, it will give the this cyan color. So and so on. Each uh, melange or each mix of this color will give another color. We can mix many values, for example, of this color. For example, if we have 100 of red and 193, for example, of green, and if we have like 128, for example, of blue, so it will give this color. It is, it looks like green, but it's actually have another color. So if we uh, diminish the value of green it will be like that so as we diminish it so if we have the same quantity of all of them it will be a color like that for example if we have for example here 28 128 and here for example 128 so all of them have same quality to give this this uh, color so the mix of these three color will give definition of another color. If we don't have any of them, if all of them are zeros, that means we'll have black. If all of them are, uh, if we have all of them, like 255 and 55 of them, it will give the white color. And this color space is a popular one, so it's one of the most famous color space. We will see another color space later in this course, but now uh, we j will just uh, interact with the RGB color space. So till now we have just talked about the grayscale images or the black and white images where we have just one channel. So that this channel represents the black and white or the intensity of a black and white in the image. Now we'll talk about the color images where we have an image that have some mix of many values of red, green, and blue. And if we look at this image, we have here, for example, a channel of red, and a channel of green, and a channel of blue. For example, the representation of this as uh, a color, for example, is here, of these three channels. And if we mix these three channels, we will have a new image that's constituted from these three channels. This image will have the same number of, or the same width for all channels and the same height also but we will have a, th uh, a new dimension which is the number of channels in the last for example in the last grayscale images we have just one channel and so we uh, didn't need to represent to write it like here for example one channel in this case we have three channels that represent the red green and blue 
colors so it will be to, we should have a three uh, dimension which represent the number of channels in the image for example in this image here we have a normal image that we uh, get from internet for example it has 439 uh, width and 356 height so this image actually has three channels which is the red channel the blue channel or the green channel and the blue channel if we mix all these channels we get this image and the shape of this image if we represent it in uh, numpy numpy array it will be like that where we have the number of the number of uh, or the width of the image and the height of it and the number of channels in the image the same here for example is another example where we have 512 uh, times 512 image so this image is with resolution of 512 and 512 pixels and its shape is also represented in the same way by 512 and 512 and we have three channels the red green and the blue channel in OpenCV the representation of images in OpenCV as we will see uh, in the paratic it's different from the conventional or the popular way for example in the normal images we have the width height and the channel in OpenCV they are represented the height first or the show the height first the width and the number of channels and also it's do something like that for the color for example in normal images we have RGB images that are we have the first channel represents the red, the second one represents the green channel, and the second uh, or the third one represents the blue. But in OpenCV, the blue is the first one, and the green is the second, and the red is the last channel. So keep this uh, in mind when we are uh, interacting with images in OpenCV.